everybody. Welcome back to story time with me, Uncle Freddy, and Squeakers. Squeakers, can you say hi? Say hi to everybody. Hi, Squeakers. Get a cat. So, if you remember last time we were reading a story, do you remember what story it was? That's right. It was A Bug's Life. And today, we're going to continue on the journey with Flick because remember what happened was that Flick made an invention to get more of the harvest to feed the grasshoppers because the grasshoppers, they protect the ants. And Flick ended up losing all the harvest and the ants now got scared because the grasshoppers were mad and the grasshoppers wanted to have more of the harvest this time. So now we're gonna see how is Flick gonna solve this problem. But first, I have a surprise. Before we read the rest of the story, look what we have today. Papa! Yes! So, why don't you come down here and let's see what's in the surprise today. What could it be? I know one thing, there's gonna be chocolate. Okay, so here's our chocolate. Put that over there, ready? Ba, 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 ba. Okay, we have our egg. Mm -hmm, nom, nom, nom. Chocolate. Okay, what do you think it is? A little toy or stickers? Here we go. Oh. What do we have here today? We have something from the butterfly story. It looks like a bracelet. Can you see that? Look at it. I think we have a bracelet today. Look at Squeakers over there. Squeakers. Okay. So let's put our bracelet together. Now... What we're gonna do, Squeakers, do you wanna see? We're gonna take the butterfly, and we put the butterfly in like this, and then we turn it around, and we put our bracelet on just like this. There, see? We have a nice little bracelet, but this is too small for Uncle Freddy, so next time I see you, maybe this will be yours. There's our little bracelet, okay. So let's start The Bug's Life. Welcome back to A Bug's Life, part two. So remember, when we left, Flick was on his way to go get some help from some other bugs from the city. So let's see if he can find some bugs. Far from Ant Island, near the city, P.T. Flea had to do something fast. Why? Because the audience wasn't laughing at his circus. Flaming death, the desperate circus manager announced. The act went all wrong. The circus bug scrambled around trying to put out the fire and P.T. ended up barbecued. The audience loved it. P.T. fired all of his performers anyway. A little later, Flick arrived into the city. Wow, what a place. Surely Flick would find bugs rough enough and tough enough to stand up to Hopper and the grasshoppers here in the city. When Flick walked in on the fight at the circus, this small little troop of circus bugs looked like the winners. Flick started clapping. Yay! I've been scouting for bugs with your kind of talent. Could you help me at my ant colony? Well, the circus bugs, they thought he was a talent scout. Explain on the way, Slim suggested. This is too good to be true, said Flick. So the next morning, Flick and all the circus bugs approached Ant Island. Dot was the first one to see them. Flick, I knew you could do it. I knew you could. But the other ants were afraid of the bigger and rougher bugs. We're losing the job, Slim worried. Francis made the announcement. When your grasshopper friends get here, we're going to knock them down, he bragged. 
So, Princess Ada, what do you think? Flick asked. We're ants, and we don't fight grasshoppers, she said. No, but they will. And he pointed at all the circus bugs. See all the circus bugs? There, see, see. The colony gave the circus bugs a welcome supper. The ant children performed a play. See the ant children making a play? And that was about the grasshoppers when they come, that the big bugs would take care of them. You mean that's us fighting? Rosie whispered. Don't watch, Slim warned Heimrich. Rosie tried to get Flick's attention, but he was busy making a speech. Flick, Rosie hissed, we're circus performers. And Flick followed the circus bugs away from the supper. Circus bugs? You said you were going to knock those grasshoppers dead. Yes, but you said that you were a talent scout. And that's what Manny said. See, that's Manny. The circus bugs took off, hoping to find a new job. But Flick grabbed Slim. See? Don't go, he said. They'll call me a loser. The circus bugs were trying to pull Flick away from Slim when Flick suddenly turned and he sprinted away yelling, Run! A bird came from the grass behind Flick, screaming. All the bugs scrambled to find a place to hide. The screams brought the ants to the cliffs. Ada spotted the circus bugs running from the bird. Then she saw her little sister. Dot had followed Flick, and now she was directly in the bird's path. Francis couldn't let Dot be hurt. He caught her. See, he's going to catch her. Francis couldn't let her get hurt, right? And they both tumbled into a crack on the riverbed. The bird knocked stones in the crack. One stone broke Francis's leg. He Flick quickly thought up a plan. Slim held up the tasty-looking Heimlich to distract the bird while the other bugs flew to the rescue. How brave, one of the council members murmured. As the others placed Francis in Rosie's net, Flick comforted Dot. His plan was working as smoothly as... Spine. Dim was lifting the rescue party out of the crack when the birds saw them. Good old Dim came through. He zipped into a thorny bush where the bird couldn't follow. Then Flick and the circus bugs heard a strange sound. What's that? Heimlich wondered. It was applause. The whole ant colony was cheering wildly for the brave bugs who had saved their precious little dot. Later, Ada took Flick aside. When you brought them here, I thought you had hired a bunch of clowns, she said. But they were so brave. Not every bug would face a bird. Even the grasshopper, Hopper, is afraid of birds, and Flick, let, Flick had an idea. Flick's plan was simple. Build a bird to scare off Hopper and his gang. He got Manny to present the plan to the Council of Ants, and Ada loved it. The ants and the circus bugs worked together. Little by little, the bird was shaped by leaves and twigs, spider's webs, and a snail shell. Everyone felt upbeat. The grasshopper's next visit was going to be very different. Ada was proud to be part of a plan that would defeat the grasshoppers. It was all thanks to the warrior circus bugs, and a flick, of course, who found them. Finally, ever so carefully, the ants and the warrior bugs raised the bird into a tree where it was awaiting for Hopper's arrival. And the crowd of ants cheered. They were ready to rumble. 
Meanwhile, the grasshopper gang was hanging out south of the border. A couple of Hopper's thugs didn't want to return to Ant Island. They convinced Hopper's brother, Molt, to present their case to the leader. Later that evening, Flick offered the circus bugs a chance to leave before the grasshopper showed up. Dim don't want to go, the rhino beetle announced. The others quickly agreed. The circus bug warriors were staying. Suddenly, an ant scout spotted somebody coming. But it wasn't the grasshoppers. It was P.T. Fleas. He was looking for his circus bugs. Flick tried to keep the secret, but the ants realized that their brave warriors were circus bugs. Uh-oh. Hopper was soon going to be here. And they had no food. The queen told the circus bugs to go away. And Ada told Flick to go away. Dot wanted to follow them, but her mother held her back. All too soon, the ants heard the grasshoppers coming. Mother, Ada grasped desperately. What can we do? Both of them knew that Hopper would be furious. Hopper was furious. No ant sleeps until we get every scrap of food. While Dot was hiding from the grasshoppers, she learned Hopper's real plan. Work them till they're dead, one of his thugs sniggered. Then we'll squish the queen. Dot had to go find help. Away she went, looking for Flick and the circus bugs. She found them feeling sorry for themselves. You gotta help us. Hopper's gonna squish my mom. The circus bugs wanted to help. They tried to convince Flick that the bird idea would work, but he didn't agree. Dot knew what Flick needed. Pretend it's a seed, she said, showing him a stone, and Flick smiled. All right, we'll do it. Flick and Dot slipped into the blueberry hideout. Ready to make some grasshoppers cry? Flick asked the ant children. It's payback time, blueberry style, said Dot. At a signal from Gypsy, the bird sprang from the knothole. From inside the cockpit, the screams of Flick and the blueberries were amplified into the terrifying screech of a real bird. The grasshoppers dive for cover. The circus bugs and the ants reinforced the grasshopper's terror with berry juice blood. They had Hopper fooled until P.T. Flea, trying to save everyone, set the bird on fire. And when Flick and the blueberries bailed, Hopper knew that he had been tricked. Hopper turned on Flick. You losers, he raged. Flick stood up to him. You're wrong, he shouted back. Inspired by Flick, the ants and the circus bugs charged. Soon the grasshoppers were running away and Hopper stood alone. Suddenly, huge drops of rain began crashing down. As everybody ran for cover, Hopper took Flick hostage. They couldn't catch him. At the last minute, Ada snatched Flick away. Hopper was furious. Flick and Ada flew to the other side of the river, and then Flick lured Hopper toward a nest. But then a bird rose up with a screech. Hopper thought it was just another one of Flick's tricks, but he was wrong, and that was the end of Hopper. Soon it was springtime. With the queen retired, Princess Ada was now Queen Ada. Dot now had the princess crown. And her special friend, Flick, held an honored place as the colony's official inventor. As the circus bugs left on tour, they all felt happy. Never again would the ant colony ever have to worry about going hungry. Their courage had finally freed them from the greedy grasshopper gang. And
and that is the end of the story of a bug's life. So if you want a story read, you can message Uncle Freddy on the message board on YouTube. So that's it for now. Until next time, we will read a different story. Bye!